Hey, what's up everybody? This morning I'm out here with the Altima. I'm gonna be changing out the rotors and the brake pads on all four corners and hopefully putting a fresh coat of paint on these brake calipers. So let's get started. these rotors and pads from eBay from uh, Brake Motive. Um, set of ceramic pads right here. And then here's the rotor. Ugh, it's gonna look good. I got the passenger side off and I'm gonna jump and do the driver side. I mean you already saw me do the passenger. I'm not gonna put the driver side in there. Once I get both calipers off I'm gonna start painting and then when I get the paint on uh, I'll do the backs while the paint's drying for the front. Okay, so I got the other calipers off and uh, I'm back here behind the house. I'm gonna clean these up with some degreaser. I got the brush. I got the degreaser. Uh, before I do that, I want to compress the caliper piston back into the caliper because I don't want this to be fresh painted and then I'm trying to smash this thing in there so one trick I saw online is you can use your old brake pad just put it in place where it was and then take a c-clamp place that on and then you can use this to compress the piston housing back into the caliper just tighten it up and then get a shot That's the setup. Tighten that down. Oh. Yeah. I try to make it look easy, but here we go. See that caliper piston going back in. There you go. So I'll do the other side. That way these are prepped for the new pads and just slide right in. I just put it right on the car. I don't have to do this with the fresh paint on it. So I'll get them degreased and put some primer. See how they look. coats of primer on the front calipers are drying so while that stuff's drying I'm going to take these off hopefully get all the calipers to the back and spend the rest of the evening painting um, the time being I'm just putting the rotor back on so I can put the tire back on so I can lift the front and the back separately uh, so I'm gonna get the back calipers off and get those cleaned up too Ready, set, go.
So that was the passenger side rear. Um, pretty much the same as the fronts. A little different in the caliper design, but same principles. The two bolts for the actual caliper and then the two bolts in the back for the bracket, I guess, that holds the caliper in. Uh, 19 mil for those big bolts in the back and then I've been using a little motivator here three pound sledge Just beating the crap out of it seems to work pretty good Thankfully, there's enough room in here to swing the hammer. So uh, you may have to do something like that. It's sure too tight for a breaker bar or anything um, and uh, The impact gun I have is way too large to fit in the back. So that's how I've been getting them off So that's it for the back. I'm gonna do the other side, but it's pretty much the same and then uh, I'm gonna keep painting we're about ready to put on the first layer of actual paint. Um, so let me get this one off and then I'll jump back over there and start, start spraying. I'm at the driver's side rear and I don't know if I sh was showing how I was getting these off. Uh, the one in the front was real easy, just came right off. But this one, it's stuck. So you get this hammer again, tap around the edge, tap a little here. Do not hit the studs. If you mess up this threading, this can be a bad day for you. Then you have to change your wheel studs out. Be very careful not to hit your studs. Tap around, tap around. Finally, I take a nice rag, just to deaden the noise. Put it right here and I smack the rotor, you know, just in the face of the rotor itself. To try to pop it loose. This one's pretty stuck, so I'm gonna bang on it a little while and we'll see what happens. In the back here, I got the primer laid down, three coats of primer. Um, I think I'm ready for color. I'm gonna go with this for the calipers, a little bit of copper. Uh, I initially wanted to do red, but red's pretty common. I wanted to do something a little different, so uh, I'm gonna hit it with some copper and see how it turns out. I've got the back brake pads over there, the brake pads, the brake calipers. Just need to degrease those and get those ready for primer, and I'll kind of jump back and forth uh, and hopefully get these knocked out by the end of the day. Here we go. You see I taped up the bleeder and I put a bolt where the uh, brake line feeds in. It doesn't exactly thread perfectly, but just to close that up. You know, when I was degreasing, I didn't want any water to get in there. I did the same thing for the other caliper, so just a little tip for you. Uh, but I'm gonna keep painting. But right now, I'm pretty excited. So let's see how this turns out. So here's where we're at after about four, five coats with the copper looks pretty good one thing I did do is I went on eBay a while back and I ordered some uh, SCR vinyl stickers so I'm gonna take this and put it right onto the front of the caliper and then I'm gonna clear coat over it so hopefully give it that nice uh, factory SCR look when we're done That's what's up. So I'm gonna clear it to seal it in so it won't come off. And uh, this looks really good, so I'm excited. All right, guys, so it's day two. Painted uh, the rest of the evening. The calipers came out mint. So got the bracket here. All that's left is to uh, install them back on the front, 
get all four corners hooked back up and then lead the brakes. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and jump on it before it gets too hot. Here we go. So the front one's all bolted in. It looks great. This side's done. I'm gonna jump to the driver's side, finish that, and then we'll move to the back and hopefully get this thing buttoned up. All right, so we're back. Uh, my camera died when I was reassembling the rear brake, but you guys have seen me take it apart so putting it back together is pretty much the same process in reverse right now everything's back together i just have to bleed the brakes so i'm going to start by putting uh some brake fluid here i got a big bottle we got to fill up the the brake reservoir which is this guy here uh, my son william's gonna pump the brakes there's william ready while he's pumping the brakes I got some tubing and a bottle, and then here's the brake bleeder valve. So he builds the pressure, holds the brake, I open the valve, the fluid will come out along with any air, close the valve, he releases the brake, then pumps it back up again. It's an arduous, long process and you need a willing participant, so hopefully we can get through it um, and get all the air out and get these brakes going and get this car back on the road. So here we go. So I'm here at the uh, driver's side front. I'm almost done. It's uh, it's 100 degrees today. I think the high was 100, 101. You know, I'm in South Central Texas, San Antonio, so it's it's hot. It's July, but we're getting close. Just to see the setup again. Here's my tubing. This is uh, 3 sixteenths. Little focus. Yeah, 3 sixteenths inner diameter. And this is a 10 millimeter bleed bolt. The one in the back is an eight mil. So you need a little tiny wrench to do that one. The same diameter tubing should work just fine. I had some smaller tubing I used, but this also fits. So 3 16 tubing, 10 mil wrench, eight mil wrench. Start from the passenger rear. Um, just pumping up the brake. I've had somebody else coming out opening this. That's the easier part. Um, pumping the brakes is difficult, so. I got everything bled. I had no air coming out of any of the bleeder valves. Uh, traditional bleeding method. Got the car down. However, I went to go for my test drive. And my foot goes all the way to the floor. No brakes. Right now I could use a break. Eh. It's pretty late, it's almost eight, so I gotta go figure out what I did wrong. So I'm gonna cut it here and see about hitting it up the next, maybe tomorrow, I don't know, I'm pretty tired. Next couple of days, see if I can figure this out. But it's just going all the way to the floor. Probably have to re-bleed them somehow, I don't know what I missed, but I'll figure it out, let you guys know. Okay, it's been a few days since I last worked on this and been looking on the internet and I found out a few things. Number one, I was supposed to disconnect the ABS actuator clip or the battery when I was bleeding the brakes. I don't know what kind of effect that would have on the ABS, it's just what the manual says to do. I didn't do that, so I don't know if that's causing any issues with there still being air in the lines. Number two is the bleeder valve on the caliper here needs to be on the top. You 
can see right here, it's on the lower position instead of this upper position. So what that means is I put the caliper in upside down, uh, which is bad news. Good news is that's a simple fix. I just got to put this one on the other side and move the other one over here. Um, the, uh, the theory behind it's pretty simple. I mean, if you have like a bottle of water and you hold it and it's half full, the air is going to remain at the top. And if you try to bleed that air from the bottom, you're never going to get to it. So you need these bleeder valves at the top of the caliper um, to get rid of that air that's going to rise to the top. So it makes sense to me. I'm going to flip those around today. I'm waiting on some speed bleeders to come from uh, Amazon. I ordered some speed bleeders from Amazon. Those should be here tomorrow. And then hopefully with these flipped around, I'll be able to speed bleed and get these brakes going. So I'm gonna flip these guys and then wait until tomorrow. We'll update then. So the mailman came and I got the speed bleeders. Uh, these are Russell. They're right here, another one. And what these do is they have a ball bearing inside that helps air, helps prevent air from traveling back up into the brake line. So I can breathe these brake line, breed, breed, bleed these brake lines by myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and install them right now. Quick note for the SER, 639570 for the rear. 639560 for the front. If you check it out for Ultima, it says that just these will fit, but I noticed the ones in the back are smaller. They're similar to the 350Z brake setup. So I actually just popped in the uh, the smaller ones in the back and, and it fits. So that's the 639-570 for the back. And then I'm gonna pop these into the front and then get to bleeding. So that worked pretty well. Uh, I was kind of going slow at first, but you really got to pump the brake pretty good. I bled out uh, half a bottle's worth. There was no air coming out once I was done. The uh, bleed pattern is different than the typical furthest away from the master cylinder. So it's uh, passenger rear, driver front, driver rear, passenger front. The only thing I can think that's because of is the ABS module is on the passenger front side so maybe it wants you to bleed that side last either way i'm going to jump up to the front i'm going to bleed them all and then we'll see where we get all right so just finished the last uh series of bleeding the brakes i'm out on the road right now the uh brakes feel good Ugh. so we're stopping good just brake check this person behind me, man. Um, but again, they're, they're working just fine. Like I said, they worked last night. Uh, I did get just a tiny bit of air out of the uh, passenger side rear. A little bit more air came out um, on that last set of uh, going through and bleeding everything again. So we are good to go. I guess the mistakes that I made in this video was just reinstalling the calipers back upside down. And then, uh, but what did help me out with bleeding the brakes ultimately was those uh, speed bleeders that I ordered. So those helped out a lot. Um, it looks a lot better. The calipers look super sharp with the SER stickers on there. The drilled and slotted rotors uh, look great also. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I appreciate you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.